So it's time to roll up your sleeve and get ready for the Oh Snap Blood Drive on Friday. Free news partnering with the Coastal Bend Blood Center outside our studios from noon to 5 p.m. The Blood Center says its goal is to get 120 pints of blood donations daily. One woman has been donating to the center for decades. Now her husband recently became sick and she says she knows that she could one day provide a blood donation to help save his life. Our Brandon Shaft has the story for us tonight and he joins us now in studio for that. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Leslie and Rudy and the blood center says that the donations take about 35 minutes and there's three types of donations. That's whole blood, plasma and platelet. While Annie Bellano has donated all three throughout her life, but when her husband got sick, it meant more to her than ever before. When he was found to have a blood cancer, it then became personal to me. Annie Bellano knew yeah. about the importance of blood donations at an early age. Her mom was a former director of the Coastal Bend Blood Center. She started donating whole blood in her 20s, eventually donating plasma after being diagnosed with COVID-19. Now at 59 years old, she donates platelets every two weeks. People's lives literally depend on it, you know, and it's very humbling for me knowing that I'm doing something that could very well be helping somebody stay alive. Her husband has a blood cancer that can be treated with platelets, but Bellano hasn't been asked to donate to help him yet. Instead, she provided the blood center with 10 gallons of all three types of blood donations. She doesn't leave without scheduling another appointment two weeks out. That right there is amazing to us, and that's what we need. We need more consistent donors, more regular donors, because that's what's going to make the difference here for your local blood center. Reaching the blood center's donation goal of 120 pints of blood is how it can provide for 10 counties and 23 medical facilities. Ramirez said multiple lives can be saved with just one donation. We need to hit that goal every single day because one incident can completely deplete us of our blood supply. Bellano said her husband is being treated at the Coastal Bend Cancer Center. Despite the challenges of overcoming his cancer, she said her husband remains proud of what she's doing. It's something she said makes her feel good and encourages everyone to donate blood if they can. That's life inside that bag, you know, so I just totally believe and I try to talk people into going to the blood bank and making donations and it's so important. And requirements to donate are to be 17 years old to have a photo ID. You'll be asked to fill out a questionnaire and they'll also test your iron and blood pressure to make sure that you're eligible. Now, Bellano says that her platelet donations usually last about an hour to an hour and a half, something that she says is well worth it to save the lives that she already has. Leslie, Rudy. That's right. Thank you, Brandon, for that. And just a reminder, the blood drive will be taking place this Friday in our parking lot in our studios. Uh, we'll be running from noon to five and we're located right between the Denny's and the Salvation Army. That's right. And you know, it's that time of the newscast where we bring you another fast fact. Mm -hmm. So did you know that every two seconds someone is in need of a blood transfusion and that one in seven people will need a blood transfu transfusion in their lifetime? Again, you can give blood this Friday. We cannot wait to see you guys right here outside of our studio. Yeah. So.